Today, I want to talk about the passive voice, the passive voice regarding modal verbs. Now, modal verbs are words like should, like can, will, have to, might, may, must, stuff like that. Now, I, I hope that you go back to my old video. I have a video about the passive voice in general. You can go back to it. And uh, actually, you have to go back to it because I have a lot more explanation, simplification of this whole thing. So now, um, I have a model verb here. I have an active voice sentence here. Susan should clean the house every day. Susan is the subject. Should is a model verb, helping verb, actually. Uh, clean is the main verb. The house is the object. Every day is a complement, the rest of the sentence. So what I do in the passive voice is that I focus on the object. How do I focus on the, the object? I make it very special. I make it very special by starting with it. So in the passive voice, the house, I start with the object, the real object actually. I'd say the house, the house, and I add the helping verb again, should. And here I'm gonna have clean, of course, the main verb. So after the helping verb and before the main verb, remember, before the main verb, you're gonna add the suitable verb to be. Now the suitable verb to be, the base of be, after should, we're gonna have a base, the base form. So the, ver the, the base of to be, the base of to be is be. So the house should be, and then the main verb becomes verb three, past participle, should be cleaned. If I want to say by who, I can say simply by Susan. And the compliment comes at the end. Every day, So now the sentence in the passive, the house should be cleaned by Susan every day. Now this is actually optional, it depends on you. You want to mention it or there's no need to mention it, it's up to you. Okay, I've got another sentence for you. Susan should have cleaned the house. Here I have something called past model. But anyhow, I still have two helping verbs, should and have. So what I do is that I focus on the object. I take it and put it at the beginning. The house and then I'm gonna add my the helping verbs. My helping verbs should have. After the helping verbs, before the main verb, I add the suitable verb to be. The suitable verb form of the verb to be here is after have we have a past participle be um is a uh, was where been the house should have been and then of course here go here you go you have the third form of the verb clean must be cleaned or cleaned is going to be cleaned again so before the main verb I added the suitable verb to be, the suitable form of the verb to be. And the main verb has to be in the verb, in the third form. And if I want to say by who, I can say by Susan. If I want to say by, by who. Okay. That's, I, I'm going to leave it out. It's up to you. You want to add it or not. Now, farmers can raise a lot of cows in this area. Again, the real object is a lot of cows. I'll take it and start with it. So, a lot of cows. Okay. Then, the helping verb or the modal verb is can. So, can the suitable verb to be, after can, I usually have a base. I always have a base, actually. A lot of cows can be, and then change the verb into verb 3. The main verb becomes 
raised a lot of cows can be raised okay in this area i chose to leave the agent or the real doer of the action out because it's taken for granted that those people taking care those people who take care of farms are farmers so i think there's no need to mention it here but if you like you can say buy farmers here and then in this area so a lot of cows can be raised in this area because the real doer of the action farmers is taken for granted known for everybody okay here the manager will sign the contract okay so the contract the contract and then the helping verb is the model verb is well and this is the main verb so before before the main verb I'm gonna add a suitable form of be or to be so will after will we have a base so will be the verb itself the main verb becomes verb 3 will be signed if I want to say by who by the manager if I don't want to say it it's up to you you can leave it out so the contract will be signed by the manager and finally they have to listen to the teacher so here it's a little complicated the teacher is the real object so I start with it the teacher then the helping verb the model verb is have to now the teacher doesn't take have to it has to take has to this is exceptional instead of saying have to it has to become has to so the teacher has to and then add the suitable verb to be after two we have the base form which is be the main verb becomes verb three the teacher has to be listened to of course no need to say by by them because you know that it's a it's a matter of a teacher and students so i think it's taken for granted